Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is about solutions to the model question paper of the subject 8051 microcontroller. So let us get into the first question. Bring out the differences between microprocessor and microcontroller. Here before going to the differences, let me give you an example so that you can remember easily. Microprocessor in the sense, if you have a personal computer, that personal computer or a laptop will be having Intel or AMD processor. So that processor will be a microprocessor. With that, it will be having RAM externally, it will be having hard disk and also all other supporting components external to that processor. That is a kind of microprocessor. It means it will it is a CPU with additional RAM, ROM and timers and other things. But you can take an example of your scientific calculator that is an example for microcontroller device where that calculator will be having a microcontroller inside that controller itself consisting of ram rom everything the microcontroller application will be in a smaller way microprocessor will be like a bigger way so we can understand the differences now cpu is stand alone here in microprocessor ram rom and timers are separate and are interfaced to the cpu and in microcontroller, it will be having a CPU, it will be having a RAM inside, it will be having a ROM inside and also timers, all present in a single chip. But in microprocessor, all are externally connected. And we say microprocessor is a versatile device and general purpose. Versatile in the sense, it will be adjusted to any kind of RAM or ROM you are going to connect externally. But microcontroller is not versatile. Why? Because it is having its own RAM ROM it will be compatible with only that and microprocessor can have expensive applications means it will be used for expensive applications you can use it for any uh, applications like you can install any applications in your system like that but microcontroller is particularly for the pillar application and it is designed with respect to the cost power as well as space criteria is considered and large number of instructions with flexible addressing modes there in microprocessor. It is more flexible with addressing modes and also number of instructions are more. But in microcontroller, it is limited number of instructions and few addressing modes are there. And designer can decide the amount of RAM and ROM required to connect with the processor in microprocessor. But as I said, microcontroller will be having a fixed amount of RAM and ROM and also IO ports. And access time for the memory and IO devices is more here. Why? Because the RAM, ROM are connected externally. While processor communicating to the ROM and RAM, the time requirement is more. But in microcontroller, RAM, ROM are present inside a, a process, uh, CPU itself. That's why here access time for the memory and IO devices is less. So microcontrollers are fast compared to microprocessors we can say. And very few instructions which are having bit handling capability in microprocessor but in microcontrollers we can have many instructions with bit handling capability so these are the differences main differences between mu p and mu c it can be asked for five six seven marks depending on that you need to write the points coming to the second question this is again a difference between sysc and risc kind of processors sysc in the sense remember again before going to the differences first you need to understand CISC and RISC explanation. It means CISC in the sense complex instruction set computing. Means the instructions are complex here. And RISC in the sense it is reduced instruction set computing. Means the number of instruction set here it is reduced instructions. Means less instructions. So coming to the differences. CISC and RISC you can uh, expand and write as a first difference. Then it consists of large instructions. Uh, set to perform many type of operations. You can see uh, CISC in the sense complex instruction set. It means complex means more. And RISC instructions are small instruction set to perform limited operations. And you can write one more uh, uh, difference is that it can perform different types of many operations but it can perform only limited operations. Simple instructions take multiple machine cycles for its execution. And this RISC in RISC simple instructions require one machine cycle for its execution means the execution will be fast in RISC processor and then frequent memory access is there in CISC memory accessing is not frequent in RISC and variety of addressing modes are there in CISC fewer addressing modes in RISC 
program size is smaller here and comparatively the program size is larger here because the instructions are less we require to use the same instruction again and again to get the functionality that's why the program size becomes more in risk and the number of instructions are less but here the number of instructions are more so the program size will be reduced and no need of specified compiler design in CISC but efficient and optimized compiler design is required in RISC and complex decoding circuit is necessary here and small chip area needed for the instruction decoding and sequential control means coming to the decoding part it is the complex circuit is not required in RISC here the complex decoding method is required and instruction pipelining is absent here in CISC and in RISC instruction pipelining increases the execution speed here the pipelining is there and coming to the CISC as I said the examples are Intel 8096 family 8086 or 8085 and Motorola 6800X0 family are the examples for CISC so microprocessors are Intel microprocessors are under CISC and you can see ARM processor Motorola 88100 Alpha AXP are RISC kind of processors these are the differences coming to the next question 1C that is Again, very, very important question. This question is also repeatedly asked and uh, every time when microcontroller question paper, if you see, you will see this question. With a neat architecture diagram, explain the architectural features of 8051 microcontroller. Here for 10 marks, you need to write this diagram, architectural diagram, and also you need to write the explanation. Explanation carries more than 5 marks here and other 5 marks will be for the diagram. Here you need to explain <coughs> the first thing is the 8051 microcontroller is 8 bit controller why because whatever the data process in this controller will be of 8 bit data you can uh, see over here alu performs the operations on 8 bit data that's why a b are the registers a is accumulator and b is the register which can hold a value of 8 bit but the address which we are going to take for rom as well as ram will be of 16 bit remember this this is this should be the first point 8 bit address it can handle that's why it is called as 8 bit device and it will be having 16 bit bus address address bit will be 16 bit that's why address bus is 16 bit and data bus is 8 bit and we will be having program counter and we have dptr and also we have ram and rom here internally and you need to specify the size of the ram and rom also and we have four ports for IOS port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3 consisting of 8 IOS, 8 pins each and then coming to the uh, other registers there are special function registers like instruction pointer there are uh, pcon, scon, tmod, tcon and these are all required for the special functionality uh, interrupt handling as well as for the different functionalities you can see these are the special function registers available you need to explain these and there are different banks available register banks each containing eight registers and you can see and this is byte addressable and bit addressable and also to handle the interrupts uh, we have system interrupt timers are there uh, system timing and control will be done by this ALE address slash enable and PSTN XTA L1 L2 reset VDD ground all these need to be explained these will be connected to ports so this much of explanation is minimum required to get 5 marks fully so at least one page of answer is required here for the explanation and you need to write this diagram clearly and then coming to the second question that is the choice question here they have explained expected the internal memory structure and programming model of 8051 so out of these two questions one is architecture otherwise they will ask the internal memory structure for sure and you can see here the left side we will be seeing the uh, memory and the division the internal memory will be uh, divided into special function registers as well as internal ram internal ram will be from 00 to 7 fh it means it is of 128 bytes you can see here internal ram is 128 bytes so each and every location in your memory can store 8 bit of data that's why it will be having 128 locations and each locations will carry 8 bits that is a byte and this bytes in each and every part of the RAM are bit addressable means the address of each and every bit is available you can fetch a particular bit from the location so if you say it is 2ch is this location 
where the bits are in the position 60 to 67 you can fetch a 67th bit individually that is called as bit addressable byte addressable in the sense if you give this address to ch complete byte of the byte value present over here will be available so that is the one thing you need to explain these are bit as well as byte addressable and 7fh in the 0 to 7f in the sense it is 128 locations are there each can store 8 bit of data and then we have a rom that rom will be 4 kb of size you can see here this is internal ram or rom 0, 0, 0 to fff indicating 4 kb and the programming model in the sense you need to explain all the registers present and also the ram structure as well as the rom structure and also the different ports which port is corresponding to which pin and how to take the inputs from those ports and uh, which are the IO ports and which are all the special ports you need to explain and also the stack pointer, pcon, scon registers you need to explain and also the instruction pointer and uh, other things related to the programming. This much is for the question internal memory structure is at the left side here and the programming model at the right side. And then the next question is write an interfacing diagram of 8051 microcontroller interface to 8k bytes of RAM and 8k bytes of ROM and uh, this is the 8051 microcontroller. So this 8051 microcontroller will be interfaced to uh, ROM as well as RAM in the sense it will be connected through the ports. All the external devices will be connected through the ports only. You can see 8k into 8 ROM in the sense it is this of size 8k and it will operate with 8 bit value means the data will be 8 bit. So that is why the data pin is uh, you can see here from port 0 uh, pin 0 to 7 will be for the data and those are also act as address you can see here this is a uh, kind of uh, address picker or decoder to fetch the address and the other things write read uh, chip select and all will come from port 2. And this much is for the ROM as well as for the RAM you need to explain 8 bit this is also 8 bit it requires address and all. So write read pins are come from the third port you can see. So this is the interfacing diagram for the 8051 here the main thing is to explain the ports as well as size of the address as well as data and which are all the ports connected to address and chip select read write signals. Then comes the third question in second uh, question C. Write a short note on the criteria for choosing a microcontroller. How we are going to choose a microcontroller in our project or in our application? The criteria is that the amount of RAM and ROM available on chip. Why? Because microcontroller will be having inbuilt RAM and ROM. So depending on our application, we need to choose by looking at the RAM ROM size also. And also the power consumption of that and number of IO pins present in 8051, uh, you can see the ROM and RAM we have seen over here it is 128 bytes and 4K and also we will be having 32 IO pins. Similarly the other microcontrollers will be having different RAM and ROM as well as IO pins and timers uh, also. So looking at that we can choose and also its flexibility to upgrade to the higher, higher performance or lower power consumption versions. So here you, you have seen the interface diagram. So this 8051 will support 8K, 16K also, RAM and ROM. So this kind of external devices, how we can connect and what is the maximum flexibility it has for high performance and low power consumption we need to see. And also cost per unit and speed and whether it is available for uh, dual in package or it is quad flat package we need to see. These are the first module questions and the answers uh, which I have given over here. And in the next part of the video, we will see module 2. So module wise I am covering this because of a uh, little bit more explanation given otherwise a complete video becomes lengthy. So let us continue this solutions in the next part. Thank you.